All right, you guys, I have some strength and conditioning challenges to keep you fit and active during our um, time away from the gym. So if you're up for a challenge, um, join in with me. I'm gonna have some volunteers helping as well. All right, now I see that I can't really see. You can't really see what I'm doing. So hold on a second. And I'm going to adjust my camera like that. Okay, all right. I've co collected, I want you to take a second to get a roll of toilet paper. And uh, I've used a pillow, but any obstacle really, it could be something that's a little taller for more of a challenge. You could put two pillows. Um, so, and you're just, that's all you'll need. So you're gonna sit your bum kind of just behind your um, item, my pillow in this case, and you're gonna squeeze the toilet paper with your feet and you're gonna bring it to one side of the pillow and back. That's one. Okay, you're gonna do two sets of 10. Okay, so I want you to follow along with me. I'll give you a second to go collect your toilet paper and your item. I'm gonna make the mine a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna get two pillows and I've really gotta um, use my hip flexors and my leg muscles. All right, so quickly gather a roll of toilet paper. I'll give you 20 seconds. Come on. Okay, we're back. All right, so you're gonna grab your toilet paper. Here we go, are you ready? We're going to do two sets of 10. Here we go. One. Two. Three, really squeeze. Four, keep your hands on the floor and don't lay down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Whoo! All right, shake out your legs. That was one set. You should be able to feel that in your hip flexors. If it's too easy, do what I did and make your um, object that you're going over um, taller. If it's too tricky, you can make it like a narrower object so it's not quite so wide this way. It could be something a little bit closer together. And um, you could build a stack of toilet paper in the center that you have to go over and see how many rolls high you can go. All right, here we go. We've got one more set of 10. You can do it, come on. Here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Nine. Push through. Ten. Oh, great job, you guys at home. All right. Now, our next exercise. Well, you might want to give your hips a little stretch there. Ooh, that was tough. Okay, the next exercise, I'm gonna use some demonstrators here that I have in my house. Uh, I've got Tyler and Jillian back for more action. The first one we're gonna do, um, you'll need a partner for this one. So if you don't have a partner, um, you could maybe um, do this at a particular target. So be creative. All right, so. One of them is going to do a front support. So Tyler, why don't you do your front support? And he's got a ball. So can you show your ball? We just have something light like this. Um, something not hard, not a baseball. Um, and also this can be done outside if you have bad aim like I do. All right, so the, other, the partner standing up is going to put their hands around into a, to form a, net. Okay, the person in front support is going to ha shoot um, and they have to shoot two baskets with each hand. The person standing up, their feet are still, they're allowed to 
maneuver their arms around however they need to get the ball through their net. Um, and once the you've shot two on each hand in the basket, then you switch. All right, Tyler. One. Oh, this is good. Better than his practice round. Two. Wow. He's practiced. So he's doing quite good. Oh, don't fall down though. Hold your support the whole time. All right, that's it. Two on each hand. You got in. Now switch. All right. So holding a nice, tight front support. Now Tyler's standing a bit too close, I'd say, for Jillian. So he should probably move back. And the person in their front support should not touch their knees until they've scored all four baskets, two with each hand. All right, and you can do that back and forth uh, several times. I would say uh, at least three rounds, okay? So you can join in, continue doing your rounds with us. All right, we're gonna do it again. So move back a bit for more challenge. Good. Oh, good try. It's not easy. Oh, so close. Now you're sh you're losing your front support position. Find that nice uh, position. There you go. Oh, so close. There you go. All right. Was that two on each hand? All right. Switch it up. Now, if you're doing this with your sibling, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, you'll do that uh, at least three rounds um, per person. All right, on to the next exercise. We've got crunchies, okay? We're gonna do two sets of 20. Um, Jillian and Tyler, Jillian, you can show us. Um, so laying on your back, um, hands by your side, uh, you're going to lift your feet off the ground and your head off the ground, and you're going to tuck in and then straighten without touching the ground. It's quite quick, super fast, as fast as you can. You're going to do 20. If 20 is too tricky, that's okay. Do as many as you can, but it should be hard. If you can do 10 and it's really easy, see if you can do 15 in a row. Okay, we're doing two sets of 20. So 40 total, you can divide it up however you feel um, is best for you, but giving you um, a challenge. Nice, are you on your second set? All right, she's just motoring through, working her core muscles, keeping nice and strong. So when she's um, back in the gym and you guys are back in the gym, you'll be uh, better able to do some of those pullovers that really activate your core muscles. Uh, some, some of you working on swing pullovers. Those are tricky, require a lot of strength in your core. All right, Tyler, the next exercise. You're up, buttercup. <laughs> All right, our jumping jack. So uh, for 60 seconds, you might have a timer on your watch, uh, on your microwave, uh, you might have a stopwatch. You can get your parents to count or a sibling. All right, on your mark. So I'm going to time Tyler. You know, you can. I'll, I'll time you too, actually. So I've got a timer on my watch, and we're going to go for one minute. And I want you to count your jumping jacks, or if you have a partner, they can help you count. Let's see how many you can get in a minute. Ready, set, go. Breathing, good job. Oh, it's getting tiring. You can do it, keep pushing, keep breathing. You're halfway. Come on, see if you can double that number you're at.
Good job. Keep going. You're almost there. 10 seconds left. Come on, a final push. Come on. He's speeding it up, trying to get those final few in. Three, two, one, time. All right, Jillian, how many did Tyler get? 89. 89, wow. How, hope you guys got a lot at home too. Now, I want you to see if you can do this um, several times this week and see if you can beat your record. Okay, so if you got 60 today, see if you can get a few more next time you do it and then a few more after that. So challenge yourself. All right, on to the next exercise. You're doing great. Okay, uh, the next one is our front support shoulder taps. So I'm just gonna go into front support and tap shoulders, okay? I want you to do three sets of 10. Can you do your second set facing the screen just so they can get a different view too to see? So she's touching, crossing and touching her opposite shoulder. Keep breathing, but keep activating your core muscles. Okay, so three sets of 10 without drooping your belly. Good job. And can you breathe through it, right? Good job. Okay, um, Tyler, you are gonna get another one that is kind of like jumping jack. So uh, this one's another tough one. It is going to be toe touches. Okay, you're gonna do your maximum in one minute. All right, I want you to try your best and then Jillian's gonna try, okay? Why don't you do 30 seconds and Jillian can do 30 at home, see if you can do a minute. If you're really out of breath after 30 seconds, that's okay. So slowly, can you show us what it looks like in slow-mo? Touch, touch, touch at the back, touch at the back, okay? Switching each time. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds first. Let me just change my timer. Do. Okay, are you ready? And you're gonna count. So each forward, forward, backward, backward touch is one. Okay, keep track of how many you can do. Here we go, ready, set, 30 seconds, go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you got to touch. <laughs> it's it's a hard one for the brain too. Good job, time. All right, do you know how many he got? 12. 12, okay, awesome. All right, now Jillian's gonna give it a try for the next 30 seconds. All right, take a breather at home. If you've stopped after 30 seconds, Take a breather. This one is really tough for the brain to process what's happening <laughs> and to count. All right, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Time. All right. 21. Wow. All right. So the next time you do that exercise, uh, see if you can improve on your score by one or more. Um, the more you practice, um, the easier the coordination for it becomes, but it's still still one that the brain and the body have to be on the same page. Um, so that's, it's a fun one. All right, um, and the final one, you guys can do it side by side facing the screen, Tyler. And you're gonna do, on your stomach, you're gonna do uh, pulses 50 times. So you're gonna lay down in your stomach like a Superman, so your feet and your hands are off the ground. And you're going to lift up and down, hands and legs at the same time. Okay, just like that, squeezing your legs together and making sure it's not your, your knees aren't bending. So you don't wanna just be kicking your butt. 50. 
If you need to take a break, you can do two sets of 25. You should feel it in your butt muscles. Keep breathing. Arms straight, try not to smack your hands on the ground. Good, take a rest if you need to take a rest. Our number we're trying to get to is 50, so you could be doing it uh, five sets of 10. You could do two sets of 25. You can do, you can break it down however uh, is comfortable for you, but also trying to give yourself that challenge. So if you got to 25 and it, you, you weren't completely out of breath and you weren't feeling like you really had to stop, do an extra five. All right, uh, that is our conditioning for today and for this week. So hopefully you can do this several times this week and uh, maybe you can come think of some fun conditioning challenges that you can do at home and uh, send them along uh, to me. Uh, and if you think of something good, then uh, maybe I'll include it next week. So have fun and stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Thanks for joining us.